Good morning, YouTube. This is Gypsy Wolf. This is probably my third time trying to quickly do this video. My goodness. Okay. So, it is Tuesday morning, and I was up pretty late last night doing some kind of workings and all that good stuff, but I wanted to show you one way I like to offer my deities in the morning and which ones I tend to make offerings to. And like I said, don't give offerings just when you need something. Do it when you know they have helped. Do it for no reason. It's like, I, I like to look at it this way. Okay, it's my best friend that's coming over once a week. What am I going to give them when they come over for dinner? Or breakfast? Or whatever time of day I end up offering something. <clears throat> so, when you have a guest, you give them your best, as I've said. Okay, so... Normally, I honor Yamiya on Mondays or Wednesdays, but for whatever reason, I felt like honoring her today. I woke up and felt her presence and said, okay, that must mean she's here. Let me offer something to her. Now, one of her favorite offerings is watermelon. So, I have, as you can see, my container of watermelon. I had some for breakfast. I gave some to my Wickster. He loves watermelon, too. Don't you, Bubs? Right? Can you say hi? Can you say hi to YouTube? Because you kind of are a star. Kind of are. You're awesome. You know that, right? Don't give that shy face. You know you're the... You know what you are. You know you're the shit. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, you're such a good boy. Okay. So, I gave her the watermelon. Called on her. Told her thank you. I will normally add spring water or some type of spirits to this vessel. The vessels that you use to give your offerings, make sure they are just for offerings if you can, if it's possible. But I really wouldn't suggest deviating from that. This I found, I think, at Joanne Fabric around Halloween time. This I found at an estate sale. And I really loved the detail on it and I loved that rich honey color of the glass. It was like maybe a dollar. I think it was 75 cents. So, there are so many ways to find things that are affordable. You know, and I went out specifically looking for a vessel for my offerings for Yamiya. And then I also honor my two male deities that I honor are Ilegua and St. Michael. Ilegua, he likes cowrie shells. So, I always leave out cowrie shells for him. St. Michael, I'll normally light a candle and dress it with angelica oil as an offering, but I'm out of angelica oil, so I need to get more for him. And that's usually about all I do, um, along with lighting some incense. And during this time, I will do either a 10 to 20 minute guided chakra meditation to balance my chakras and get myself ready for the day. You can probably tell that they are not balanced yet because A, I have not had any tea, therefore no caffeine yet. And B, I'm going to be doing some love work for a client. So I opened up my heart chakra last night and I want to keep that open and continue working with the energy of that until I'm done everything for this client. You could also open your sacral chakra for this, but this is more of an actual love working instead of a lust. Okay, so if it's a love and lust, you want to open your heart and your sacral chakra. But anyway, I just wanted to, well, like, as you can see, I'm doing a lot. And I have these beautiful wildflowers. These were an offering for my deities. My neighbor, she has a wildflower garden and made me a pretty little bouquet. And I want to get this oil made before... They're out of bloom. I have my hibiscus, dried hibiscus in here from Glynis, the Witch of Whitetail Hollow. That's going to be going in there. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to make an amazing love oil. Now, I'm not going to show you everything because the witch got to keep her secrets. <laughs> I'm going to omit one or two of my little secret ingredients. But I will give you guys a really great love and attraction oil recipe later today and I'm really excited to share it with you. As you can see there's going to be quite a few ingredients but I'm going to try and narrow it down to the ones that I think will A, be the most easy for you to find, B, 
you know, be very cost effective and C, just easy, easy for you guys to, to create. Okay, and it can also, I'm probably going to make it interchangeable, like you can use it as a powder or an oil. We'll see. I have to decide how I want to make that happen. And Wick will be joining us, per usual. Right, Wickster? <laughs> Alright, guys, I hope you have a great morning. Have your coffee, have your tea, and get ready for some witchy love work today and tomorrow. I'm really excited to share with you guys. Alright. As always, blessed be.